Soiti. There are some 2,000 people who live in the western part of Latvia, near the Baltic Sea. They are people who understand the enormous value of traditions, which they learned as children. Their own dialect, grandmother in a folk costume, the specific style of singing, centuries-old wedding traditions, and over 50,000 folk songs. At one time that seemed like something that was self-evident. Today, Soite increasingly recognize how valuable it is to be one of them. Nearly 400 years ago, the owner of the region, Johann Ulrich von Schwerin, converted to Catholicism in order to marry a beautiful Polish woman, Barbara Konarska. He also converted his residents. Anyone who refused to become a Catholic had to leave the region. As a result, this region became a Catholic island in a Protestant sea. Hence colorful culture, different mentality, and vast range of traditions took root here. Religious isolation is what has helped Suiti to preserve their differences to this very day. The pagan elements interview with the religious here, the ancient with the contemporary. All traditions are still put to everyday use, and that makes the community of Suiti unique indeed. A young man is carving a protective sign. Suite believe that such signs can protect their homes from fire, disease and evil spirits. Suite women sing out to ensure good fortune for the home and its residents. This is also known as drone singing. It is assumed that the origins of this unique type of multi-voice singing predates Christianity. Drone singing is not just an ethnographic performance, however, it still exists in everyday life. In the evening, women gather to weave. There are young girls here too, watching and learning. It's more than just weaving and practicing how to use the loom. These girls are studying the principles of life, which are described in Suiti songs. The women sing at each other, they improvise, they tease, they sometimes sing out also their conflicts, so that they don't have to keep them alive. While the tongue is moving, so are the hands. A traditional skirt is being woven here. Legend tells us that Suite women used to have folk costumes in such incredibly bright colors so that they could be distinguished from their neighbors at a distance. Until quite recently, the 1960s, Suite women wore their traditional dresses every day. Once that generation passed away, the costumes were put into chests and attics. Now the hundred-year-old skirts the moth-eaten scarves, they are taken back out as the greatest treasures of any family. This potato and carrot pie is the most famous Suite dish. Everyone in Latvia knows its origins. For Suite, it's not just a pie, it's a matter of belonging. Emilia learned to bake them from her mother. Her mother learned from Emilia's grandmother. <laughs> So it have their own dialect. They often cut off and modify word endings and have many old words. Legend tells us that the word endings here were swallowed by the sounds of sea waves. Twenty years ago, the dialect was still alive. Today, it's recorded 
but hardly anyone still speaks it. Young generation now often live and work in the city. You can't speak Suiti dialect at an office after all. Tā brunči 29.6, krekl 87, augs 46. Margrieta is now the only Suiti woman who still makes traditional caps, vests and shirts. She is now 80. As long as she can see, she will continue to prepare the ornate colors and wonder what will happen to Suiti traditions in the future. Her granddaughter is gone, she is in Ireland. She still promises to come back someday, but will she? Vai tas šodien jaunie gribs kaut ko mācīties, tie televizori jau viss samaitā. Viņam jau vairāk neko nevajag sēdēt pie televizora, bet viņi kāds rokdāks jaunie strādā. Margrieta has made traditional dresses for nearly half of the Suiti community. Recently she had finished a shirt and a jacket for her godson. Today Juris is trying on his Suiti traditional dress for the first time. Juris is a journalist. Now he and his wife dress up when they go to church. The most important place for all Suiti. If you consider yourself a proper member of Suiti community, then you are in church on Sunday. Nav iespējams atdalīt viņu, jā, kad šeit ir etnogrāfija un šeit ir reliģija. Tas tautas tērpš tā īpatnējā suida dziedāšana ir šeit tāpēc, ka teika katvaļa baznīca. Ja šeit nebūtu katvaļa baznīca, tad šeit tā viss nebūtu, mēs būtu tādu paši kā viss citi. Even in their churches, suiti have managed to be different. Religious in a mixture with paganic elements, like nowhere else. Suiti women in their folk costumes. Even here, they are faithful to their drone singing techniques. Only this time they are singing religious texts in Latin. That's what Suiti do. They take something old and put into a modern setting. That's why Suiti traditions are still alive and practiced today. Children from towns and cities have come home for Sunday. Tomorrow they will be leaving again. Jā, protams, tās ir studijas, tas ir labākas darbs. Kā viņi Rīgā, Liepājā vai Ventspilī šo savu suitu identitāti cels. Un es caur to nesko, es patiešām es redzu, ka nu, būs iespējams cilvēkiem atspērties šeit pat tās uz vietu, mīlēt dzimto pusi un neiet prom. The value of Suiti cultural traditions has been already once appreciated in the past. In the 1930s, Suiti sang and danced in Sweden. Then they were invited to England, Italy and the United States. But came World War II, followed by the Iron Curtain, which suddenly concealed the beauty of Suiti from the eyes of the world. Now the world can see and appreciate them once again. Vairāk, vajag. Varbūt ne tik daudz suitiem, cik pasaulē redzēt, ka te ir viens ļoti spēcīgs, viens ļoti saudabīgs um, pasaules mēroga tradīcijas variants, kurā ir vienā veselumā pagātne, tagatne un nākotne. Suiti songs dresses, dialect and their identity, they all have survived wars, revolutions and even recently the Soviet period, when people were repressed and their values denied. Still Suiti have protected their values for almost four centuries. Today when the market economy and global opportunities tempt so many young people into leaving their homes, these values are on a threshold of extinction. Traditions belong in everyday life, not in museum depositories. Today Suiti are well aware of this, but they are afraid that due to economic difficulties, soon there will not be enough people left in the region to protect their centuries. <laughs>